Hello, welcome to another unboxing on Nezo's Bad Shop. You are looking at a Sakura D5. Well, here is a mid-motor, but this box says light. So, uh, yes, what they did, uh, three racings, a three racings Sakura D5 light. So what they did, they basically took a Sakura D5 mid-motor, shoved it into a photocopier, set it for like, you know, 75% or something, hit go, and voila! D5 light. Pretty cool. Uh, so they, yeah, so it's a shrunken D5 and crucially it's 210 millimeters, which means that is the same wheelbase as a Tamiya M chassis. You know, those like 110 slash 112 scale miniature type 110, where it's a little bit smaller than this and it's for cars like the Volkswagen Beetle and the Miata and stuff like that. This, this chassis, the light one, will fit that type of body, the Tamiya M cars and the HPI Cup racers and all that sort of stuff. So, very exciting, and it has pretty much all the same features as the D5 Mid, as what you're looking at here. However, there are a few differences. Uh, the motor mount is different to balance out the car, make it make the weight more mid, as opposed to this motor is a little more further back towards the rear axle. This is more midship over the middle of the battery. Uh, and the battery is a little bit more mid as well on the chassis compared to the standard MR. Uh, what else? Uh, da, 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 just looking at a little list here. Uh, they say low profile shorty battery pack only. Uh, that's so that the spirit gear doesn't eat it. I'm pretty sure that's a thing with the D5 mid as well. Uh, quick release drive shafts. That's not new. That's the same as this, which it's sorry it's not quick release because you're still turning a screw. Whether you turn a nut or a screw, it's not quick release. Anyways, so that's just the difference of uh, drive shaft and stuff, and you can change it back. People have already done it. Um, it says there's a relocated ESC tray, but that's this. That's the standard thing back here. It's not really relocated. It just that's what they're listing as features. Um, and really, yeah, there's not really any other changes. They still give you the mounts, the server, the, these magnet mounts, which are really good. These are, these are solid, let me tell you, these are nice. That's a nice feature. Still plastic shocks uh, and all the other same standard hardware you see on this MR. Uh, as far as I am concerned and that I understand. Uh, oh, oh, the one other major thing that they said was they redesigned the front shock tower, I believe. So this, I think this shock tower is a little bit different than this, I think. I think, or it's that whole they're just listing the same feature list changes from the RR to the MR, but they might have changed this. They might have. So we're going to find out. Move that out of the way. What else does the box say besides D5 Lite? The box looks pretty good. A picture of the car, some specification here. So there you go. Overall length, 333 millimeter. Overall width, 194 millimeter. Wheelbase 210, like I was saying. Uh, tread from uh, the F to R here. 194 to 188 millimeter gear ratio three to one and they mistyped that anyways uh, if you're looking for the manual qr code way go it's like, it's like it's hk dot three racing shop or three racing dot shop or something like that anyway just google it they have a new website on the back of the box yeah they have some the features here what i was just sort of reading off uh and i think yeah the low profile shorty battery pack i think this might be for this uh this kit more so than the standard MR sorry just trying to get my brain going uh, yes and of course you will need all the electronics wheels body tires battery all that stuff for the advanced builder now enough yammering open the box uh, very good and straight away I noticed some difference that I that they didn't say on the box bag number eight here first thing I notice the wheels and tires here well okay the tires look like the same tires the the ones that say factory racing products the basic ones they give you in all this all the d5 kits basically these the tires look exactly the same but those wheels though they give you black wheels with with the low with the like 13 inch scale low proiness that look like them scale dynamics and look look at those wheels look at the difference wait can I get the light in there Look at that. Like, that's really cool. Like, 
nice. So I was curious because the photos on the the website and stuff were showing these wheels, and I thought it was just for showy offy. Decent. So you not only get different wheels, uh, you get a few other changes, as I was saying, but you get different wheels. That's really nice. Excuse me. There's the magnet mounts. Like I said, you still get those. That's a really nice throw-in to get the to get magnet mounts in a kit. Not every manufacturer does that, so you know, plus one for three racing. Uh, and um, oh, I'm just noticing these wheels. There's two that look like sort of deep dishy. Yeah, look very deep. And ones that are not. And I'm I hope I hope I hope <laughs> that these are. Uh, more than five millimeters. These these ones here look like probably five millimeter. They go in the rear. If these are like six or higher, I'll be really happy. So I'm gonna wait. Can I read it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Give me a second. Give me a second. It. Oh, I can't read it. Ah. I don't want to cut it open yet. Let's just move on. I'll cut it open at the end. Let's move on. Bag four. That's the shock tower and the servo plate that it mounts to the rear shock tower. Uh, and yep, screws and hardware. Good job. Bag six, the plastic shock set, uh, which is all right. Plastic shocks are never the greatest, but those are all right. Uh, 100 weight oil to go with that. And uh, yeah, right on. Standard issue. Those are these shocks right here. Can we see that? There we go. Those ones. Uh, bag five has uh, pins for the suspension, just like most D5s. Uh, the kits, the drive shafts with the quick release, which is just a screw instead of a nuts. Like I said, not quick at all. Uh, the hexes for the wheels and stuff, ball cups, etc. Knuckles, okay. Bag three. This has the upper chassis. There's a lot of parts in here. The ESC tray, the front bulkhead, the upper upper decks, as I said, the D5. Oh, look, look. D5 light. It actually says it. That's cool. I like three racing when they do stuff like that. They they do surprise me at times. Little little things like that. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, and that's all that hardware right there. The spur gear, the transmission hardware down there. Very good. All very standard. D5, which we are happy about. Bag seven, battery tray. Oh, sorry, yeah, battery tray holder, etc. Those pieces. Bag one, uh, the differential, which uh, is different to ID2, but this is like every other D5 uh, D5 diff. Uh, it has metal gears, looks like brass metal gears, and plastic housing, and comes with 5,000 weight oil. Now in a YD2, you Yokomo YD2, you get. Uh, the plastic diff housing, you get plastic gears and 10,000 weight oil. And I'll tell you, the new MD1, you get plastic diff housing, just like YD2. You get the plastic gears, but you get 5,000 weight oil. Lighter oil, so that's interesting. But here, this is the same as every D5 that's released so far. It's good. Now, this is the chassis, which you can tell is shorter. And I don't even have, I'm not going to hold it up to that because you can, you know what, no, I will. I will. I was going to be silly and not do it, but I will do it. There. Can you see that? Now, uh, give me this. Please and a thank you. And, okay, so there we go. So if I hold it up from front to back, okay, front, front, looks similar. They changed the hole in the middle there. And the middle here is more bulkier, a little more bulkier. And it's shorter. But the rear end and front end, that rear end area and that front end area are pretty much identical to those. It's mostly the mid area that changed uh, to beef it up. So, yeah, that's pretty neat, eh? How they put it in the photocopier and shrunk it down 75%. And, uh, yeah, there's the rest of the hardware there. The suspension uh, pins for the lower arms and the rear, I believe this is for. And I think all the other suspension factory settings in the manual are... The same as this for the most part i think so well i'll find out when i build it i'll do my constructors digest and uh, we will find out oh actually you know what we can we don't even have to open that bag for the the wheels we're gonna we're gonna find out we're gonna open it and of course look at that sticker sheet three racing has done so well with these d5 sticker sheets 
and made special versions for each D5 because I own several versions. And they made different, I can tell, they made different colored things here for each version. And now this light one has an even better, like an even, well, I say better, but an even different version of the stickers. Look at that. Like, I'm really happy with that. Are you listening, Yokomo? Are you listening? Are you paying attention? This is how it, stickers are done, okay? You used to do so well with the bodies, and now you can't even remember to throw them in half of your kits. And until you fix that, I'm going to keep mentioning it. But, yeah, 3 Racing gets high, high marks for these stickers. They do really well with that. So, uh, the last thing in the box is the manual. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to dive through the manual briefly. So we can see those wheels. Now, one thing I did notice on one of the other, look, we can already see this. The one thing I did notice, uh, the camera actually shows this a bit better than what it is by my eye, the naked eye. Some of these illustrations are quite dark. This looks oh, somewhat okay on camera, but they are actually, it's a little dark, uh, darker than it came out. I think when they sent this through the photocopier, uh, I darkened everything up a touch. You can still see stuff to illustrate it and uh, to illustrate like what you're looking at and all that stuff. Just pay a little bit more attention because they're a little bit shaded a little more darker than they should be. It's like the contrast has been turned down or something. Uh, but anyways, now we're diving through here to find out what the offset of these wheels are. If it tells me... And, oh, it says they're multi-piece. Look at that. It says they're multi-piece. Drift outer rim, drift pattern. Is this some new multiple mm, piece drift wheel by three racing I don't know about? Or have they been offering this for time and I haven't paid attention? Because it says that's a tire, outer rim, equip 03, work equip I guess. Maybe? No? It just says equip 03, drift rim pattern, drift rim cover. But it doesn't tell us the offset. And it says there's four of those same patterns. So am I, was I just looking at some of the patterns flipped or not assembled? Oh, I hope not. Uh, but it doesn't say. Uh, the, and these look these look the same now. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. I, I was hoping they were higher than five offset. I uh, They might be, they might not be. Uh, so we'll see. And that has the stopper there. So if that still hits, that hits the lower arm before the stopper, they're five mil. That's all there is to it. So I'll figure that out. But anyways, other than that, no, the, the manual does look pretty detailed. It's just a little bit too dark. It might not look like it on the camera here, but it's a little too dark. But, ooh, look! Something uh, Yokomo keeps forgetting to do lately is put setup sheets in the freaking manuals lately. And crucially, this one, this setting sheet, if they, if it's, if they do, if the manufacturer does it right, they give you a setting sheet if they have one from one of their drivers. So this is this is that driver with characters I just can't pronounce, but it's that driver from the circuit, that one, which is I think three racing's home circuit. And look, there's a setup here. So if you want to set it up like a team driver or get like a different uh, a good uh, good setup, I think for what do we got here? This is for indoor epoxy medium traction and the track condition is flat. There you go. Uh, so that's cool. So they usually give you a pre-done setup sheet and then they give you a blank one so you can set up your own or, you know, photocopy it or print out multiple. That's good. Pretty cool. And there's some manufacturers that still haven't created a setup sheet either for their chassis or for their conversion kit. Super annoying. But this is nice. This is nice to, nice to see D5 Lite. So I should be able to go download, I'll be able to go download this setting sheet from 3 Racing and print out a couple of them because I do want to start filling out setup sheets a lot more uh, and stuff like that. And there you have it. That's it. Way you go. A bunch of option parts there, pinion gear and uh, spur gear, ratios, and yeah, D5 Lite. Look at that. There's, there's, actually that's a good picture of the car. I should have mentioned that when I first pulled the, ma pulled the manual. That's what it looks like. So, in comparison, there's the midship, as we've seen, and there's the light. Yep, literally threw it through the photocopier. That's it. I love, I, I, I really, really excited for that one. To get it going and run smaller bodies, I can't wait.